identifying mm -hmm. what thought is not in your head. I'm a burden to my family. That's a pretty serious thought with a lot of consequences. But what yep. if the thought is, I am fun. I love being with people. Heart math okay. is biofeedback. For me, with 35 years of scientific research, we're able to use mindfulness research, yoga, spirituality, but take it into this science space mess. If you think of a oh. heart as an electric motor that puts mm -hmm. off energy, you're putting around an electromagnetic field around your body of energy. It's the same thing about taking glucose into the body, into the Grep cycle makes energy. Neurotransmitters in the neurons make energy. We are in energy beings. That heart rate variability is checking the energy, so learning how to manage that energy. If you're in an incoherent place with heart energy, that might be experiencing grief or anxiety or shame or betrayal. And that makes you just a big drain on your energy pool. Whereas if you will learn to breathe and place yourself over in accepting gratitude, love, being excited about being alive, that changes that electromagnetic field. You, you have more resilience. It's like you have a full cell phone battery. How you handle chaos or an emergency depends on how full your battery is. I call it a tool because we have the brain toolbox. First of all, this is what I remind people. I work mm -hmm. for you. you. I'm here to present you with tools and you determine whether you're going to use these tools or not. People accountable to themselves. I cannot do mm -hmm. anything to you. You will choose it and I will walk with you on this journey. My job is to help you identify a road back in front of you and we're going to figure out a way to get around it. Life is about failing forward. That's how we raise our children. That's what I want to do is teach my children to fail so I can teach them how to pick themselves up. That's what we do over and over. We take an action step, we go back. We take two action steps, we go back. That's life. The people get very frozen that they have to be perfect and they can't do it. No, the real joy is picking yourself up laughing about it, finding a different way. And I ask people when I'm doing mm -hmm. feedback with them, how does your body feel? Because sometimes we're under stress for so long, it's just natural. And we don't even realize this is how I feel all of the time. That cortisol and those stress hormones just start breaking down the tissue. Come back into your body and live here for a while. That's how we heal. Oh. And we just practice that when you're in an interaction with somebody and your chest gets tight, your eyes burn, your neck stiffens up. I just need to take in a deep breath, bring myself into coherence. The person in front of me relaxes. Like when I breathe, I relax. And that person in front of me smiles and relaxes. And this is what the heart math research where we've worked with Afghanistan soldiers, SWAT team officers, boardrooms, marketing teams, bringing people in coherence together makes a team work together. The heart math people really taking it to chronic disease because we are sentient beings of story. We have a narrative in our head of who we are. It's like the bubble of their story. And when we get sick and we go into allopathic medicine, then there's new characters in the story and they become data points. So our brain's taking all that data, the new data, and then they're making up a story because the brain's job is to keep us alive. Imagine that you have ALS and you've gone into all these healthcare people, you're going to die a miserable death. Now we're going to have to give you this breathing machine and wheelchair your body will start breaking down because that's the story in the brain. So imagine that you came to someone and they say, you know, you don't really know what's going to happen. Let's open that story up. Let's get a new cast of characters in there. Let's find meaning in your life. Let's explore. I have one gentleman that he has several different people now. And I said, before you were sick, did you ever get to talk about yourself? He goes, never. Isn't it fun that it's all about you now? Dr. Lisa Miller just wrote the book, The Awakened Brain, decades of research on spirituality. So she focused on depression in children and suicide. She found that children with a spirituality had a 62% less chance of depression. People, children that were taught it had an 82% less chance. She was able to show research of MRIs that when the brain meditates, that the white matter grows, that when the brain's in the MRI, the megahertz slow down to a point of the same energy that's in a forest. So when we're in nature, we feel connected. She hypothesized that maybe depression is a springboard for spirituality. Maybe we have to be in the dark and look for the light. Functional medicine is not, I'm going to give you a pill and we're not going to allopathicize it with herbs. There's no root cause. It's a complete culmination of your genetic history decades, thousands of years back. Where you in Ireland, you have APO4 inflammation. That comes to your family. Did you come from a war country? What was going on with your mom when you were pregnant? Did you breastfeed? Did you have a vaginal birth? Did you fall on your head when you were a baby? Were your sisters and brothers mean to you? How was junior high? Did you go for that? 
PhD and you grit your way through until you never gave your body a chance. And then that comes to today and your body budget is overdrawn. You've taken out too many withdrawals and we are here to help you locate those withdrawals and start making deposits back into your body. Mm -hmm. We're going to help you look at your accounts and start bringing yourself back into the black at least. And you will do this every single day for the rest of your life. There's no one and done fix. You will learn how to care for yourself. And that's where ease comes from. People want to be seen. The number one diagnosis in the world is loneliness. And we saw that through COVID, the dementia just and chronic disease just exacerbated. People are a microbiome. They are meant to be together and flourish with each other. And so in our practice, we see you. We hear your story. 